So the first thing is, is to get a really heavy pumpkin. And this is a really heavy pumpkin. This is like 20 kilos. And the heavier it is, the thicker the flesh is gonna be and the more you're gonna to have to play with. You can also tell a little bit by the thickness of the, uh, of the stem. And ideally you want the stem that's nice and green um, and then it just means the health of the pumpkin is there as well. So in terms of carving, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the rind off, we're then gonna block in the first and then we're just gonna finish with detail. So the tools you may use are these to gut your pumpkin, you may use a washable marker just to draw your picture and use a mirror as well to really get that expression. For carving you may use these tools. So you have a hoop tool from clay for using clay, and you've got a smaller hoop tool as well and these are really quite safe but then you may move on to these kind of knives. So this is our hoop tool and this is what we use to actually take the rind off the pumpkin. Okay, so we're working, we're working on the nose area here, we're just isolating the nose and really we're wanting to dig almost as far as we can to this nostril here, there and also in the hollow of this eye area, in the middle of the eye, uh, to make it as, as 3D as possible. But what we don't want to do is punch it through and so as we're doing this, we're always pressing it to see if it feels like it's spongy and soft or stringy. If you get stringy, you know you're just about to pop through. To this point, I've only been using these two tools um, and that's really important because you want to carve as much as you can with these before using a knife. Because as soon as you start using a knife, you actually start um, making cuts that will weaken the pumpkin and cause you problems later on. So get as much done with these two tools and I'll let you know the change. So I'm uh, just drawing in this area here, uh, which is the, where the eyebrow is. And the, the eye slants off from this position. I've got that area in and now I'm going to use this tool just to bring it across. Because sculpture is all about shadow and so I want to catch this, uh, this nice little shadow here. So we've done a lot of carving and blocking in with this tool here. We've got the main shape, so we've got like some claws, a nose, a brow, there's a mouth area here. But now um, I need to use something smaller and this is just to get um, the lines in of where places might be like, like the map. So we're going to gouge out with this, with this tool. So here we go. So the other thing you want to do is when you're carving your pumpkin is always step back from the pumpkin and always move around the pumpkin as well. You don't want to just be in one single place and that way it'll just find, you'll just find it easier to make. Um, here the shapes are forming, I'm trying to keep areas smooth which would be really important for later on. One thing people often do is just carve all the way around the eyes um, with equal depth which makes the eye kind of pop. And on a gargoyle that may be okay, but on a person what tends to happen is, is that you've got a really deep area here and here. And so you can really cut nice and deep and then it goes up to where the um, the eyebrows is looking, he's already, he's already looking angry uh, um, with that. And then it rounds and curls in to here. And then this bit is only mildly defined. Um, and so you want to kind of keep this bit almost rolling off the brow, whereas this bit really does cut in, you really get nice deep shadows here. The sculpture of the gargoyle has these really nice V cuts, and so you could do this with a knife. Uh, on a craft knife, so you go in one angle and then you go in the other angle, like so, and then you can lift it out like that and you get a really nice deep line. Um, alternatively, if you have a chisel, which is what a, uh, the sculptor would use, you can use these as well. And just go around, bonk, and like that.
So, how to make your pumpkin last longer. Um, so give it a good clean and uh, spray it with some lemon juice. We suggest not piercing your pumpkin, because as soon as you do that, the bacteria can get inside. But it may be that you actually want to stick a light in it, and in that case you'll have to do that. We hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of how to make a gargoyle pumpkin that's a Canterbury Cathedral. Let's see if you can spot it. We look forward to seeing what you will make.